Hey everyone, welcome back. For those of you not familiar with it, here's a brief introduction to the foam roll. There are essentially four exercises in this video for both the front and back of the lower leg, so you may want to watch this a couple of times before trying it on your own. The foam roll is used to improve muscle, joint, and fascial mobility. This technique will relieve muscle tightness in the calf and the lower leg, as well as improve mobility in the ankle, the knee, and even the foot. Remember, the muscles that flex the toes, provide ankle stability, and even support the arch of the foot all start on the back of the bone of your lower leg, the tibia. If you're just getting started with a foam roll, it may be quite uncomfortable at the beginning. Start slow. A deep, intense ache is fine, but sharp pain is not the goal and should be avoided. So for this first exercise, begin in a seated position with the hips on the ground. Place the hands uh, behind you, supporting your weight. Place the calf muscle of one leg on top of the foam roll and the opposite leg on top of the shin for added pressure. Search for significant discomfort up and down the back of the lower leg, but avoid sharp pain. Keep your hips on the ground and gently roll the calf three to four inches back and forth over the foam roll. Perform for about 15 repetitions, then switch sides. Next, a variation of this mobility exercise can be performed by simply resting the high or the low calf over a tight muscle or painful trigger point. Once you find the painful ache or the hot spot, simply twist the entire leg back and forth over the foam roll while you work the knot out. Again, search for significant discomfort, but avoid sharp pain. As you can see in this exercise, you're twisting the leg from side to side over one particular spot, and the knee is not bending up and down. Once again, perform for about 15 repetitions, then switch sides. You can place that opposite leg, the leg that's not being worked on, over the top for added pressure. This next exercise is simply a more intense variation of the first one. For this one, you will support your body weight through your hands and arms and roll your calf muscle back and forth using your shoulders. More of your body weight will be transferred to the calf muscles and can really ramp up the intensity. So approach this one cautiously the first couple of times you try this. Remember, you don't have to roll out the entire calf. But try, starting, uh, try starting by rolling over just two to three inches of the muscle and gradually increase the rolling distance as you get more comfortable. Again, roll back and forth for about 15 repetitions, then switch sides. For your fourth lower leg exercise, we're going to work on the front of the leg, this time rolling out the shin muscle known as the anterior tibialis. Begin by taking a knee and searching for the soft but firm muscle in the front of the leg off to the outside of the bone. This is your anterior tibialis muscle. You can even find it more easily by pulling the front of your foot off of the floor and feeling that muscle flex on the front of the leg. Note, again, note that the anterior tibialis is just off to the side. Never use the foam roll over the bone. Kneel down in front of the foam roll and place your hands on the floor. Keeping one leg on the floor to support your weight, raise the other leg and place the anterior tibialis muscle on top of the foam roll. Using your arms and the grounded leg, push yourself forward and backward to roll the anterior tibialis over the foam roll. Once again, perform for about 15 repetitions, then switch sides. With each of these lower leg foam roll exercises, a deep, intense ache may be felt for the first week or two, but do not perform if this becomes sharp and painful. If the area you're targeting is too painful, move the foam roll a couple of inches above or, or below the painful area and gradually work toward the target area over several days. Again, perform each foam roll exercise for up to 15 repetitions on each side and try to use the foam roll twice a day. One of the best things about the foam roll is that you can almost think of it like an anti-stretch. While stretching can be good in the short term and in occasional doses, it should not be a long-term strategy for muscle and joint health. I work with many athletes in the performing arts who are overstretched and as a result, they have lengthened the muscle and the soft tissue to the point that weakness and instability is occurring in several joints. These joints are no longer supported, the body is out of balance, and these athletes, dancers, and students struggle with recovery from chronic and repeated injury. Foam rolling, on the other hand, brings awareness to the soft tissue and the joints without overstretching and compromising joint integrity and stability. So, wondering if these exercises are right for your leg, ankle, or foot pain. With an accurate diagnosis and consistent corrective strategy over time, you can find freedom from pain, fatigue, and chronic injury. Click the schedule button and let's make sure you're not wasting your time practicing exercises that may not help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.